Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. Today I will share with you all my daily, weekly and monthly cleaning routine which I am sure you would surely relate to and if not, you will definitely take something out of this video. It's always exciting to find that one cleaning hack that will make your life easier and I will share many such tips and hacks in today's video. Having that in mind, let's get started with today's video. The biggest con of being a homemaker is that no matter how spick a span your home looks today, by tomorrow it will be again a mess, untidy and dirty place, especially if you have kids around and we have to keep repeating the entire cycle over and over again. So instead of feeling overwhelmed, let's tackle these tasks smartly so that we are on top of it and never feel stressed or overwhelmed. First and foremost, we need to understand that there is a difference between cleaning and tidying. Cleaning is when we dust, scrub with soapy water and clean the surface, while tidying is putting things back into place and decluttering. While cleaning gets rid of germs and gives freshness, tidying makes your space visually appealing. A home that is clean and free of bacteria but visually cluttered will not look clean at all. So let's first understand that these are two different things that we need to tackle. I am personally on top of my cleaning chores but too bad with tidying and decluttering which always makes my house look messy, making me feel irritated. So as soon as I came across this concept that tidying is not cleaning and that's where I am lacking, I made a daily routine of tidying and this simple change changed my entire life and my mood. Some of us maybe are very good with cleaning while others are good with tidying but unless you are good with both these areas, your home will never look clean, tidy and calm. Another issue we all homemakers face is that there is so much of work in a single day. How to incorporate weekly, monthly or seasonal cleaning in your already busy schedule? Well, the simple answer to this is establishing routines. I know, I know, you've heard it many times before, but it is because it is so effective. Having a routine of anything in life will always give you results that you want. One of the biggest life lessons I have learned is the importance of being consistent. Maintaining consistency in your household routines, your exercise routine, your kid study routine or anything that you want to achieve in life is the key to ultimate success. You are bound to see results if you are consistent over time. You don't have to be extraordinary to achieve big changes. You only have to be consistent. Just a simple small step each day in the right direction will take you where you want to go. So that's what I do. I do not wish to turn the mountains in a single day but with my routines I only do a little bit each day and by end of the day or week or month I know I've actually tackled the elephant in the room. So how does my daily, weekly and monthly routine looks like? Let's have a look. So my daily cleaning and tidying chores includes making bed in the morning. We have three beds in one single room so it's hard to vacuum and mop in this room on a daily basis which becomes part of my weekly cleaning routine. But on a daily basis I make all three beds in the morning. My kids used to sleep with their soft toys their blankets, not one but multiple and many more things on the bed which used to make this process very painful. So now I have limited them to only one or two toys in the bed and only one blanket which has speeded the process. So if you feel some tasks are off-putting and you tend to dislike or delay, it means you do not like the process. Think about the process, find a new solution and change your method. This holds true for anything in life again. If you genuinely dislike something, think outside the box. Give some time, think over your problem and find a new solution to your problem and change your approach towards it. Anyway, I will go and check if other two bedrooms bed need any tidying which usually takes few minutes as these beds are not in use. I will do a quick tidy up and put things away if they are not lying in their spot. Next task is to start the load of laundry. So I will gather clothes from bathroom, floor, bedroom, wherever they are and start the load of laundry. 
Once wash cycle is complete, drying the clothes and folding the laundry is part of daily routine too. Next is cleaning the bathroom countertops and sink. If not daily, I do it every other day. Rest of the bathroom like cleaning the pot, shower area and floor, I clean on weekly basis. Tidying is something that should happen as you go. Best tip is to never leave a room empty handed. If you have used the bathroom, straighten it. Pick things that do not lie there and keep them to their designated spot. Same for kitchen. If you are in the kitchen, use the in-between wait times while cooking and tidy the kitchen. Remove paper clutter, books, bottles, toys that kids often leave on the kitchen countertop. Cleaning the kitchen countertop and the dining table happens few times a day after every meal is cooked and consumed. 10 minutes quick tidy up is again included in my daily routine, which mainly includes kids' playroom. They do clean up after themselves most of the times, but for them, each piece of paper is art, and I do need to declutter their playroom from time to time. Vacuuming the house is another task that makes up on my daily cleaning list. However, I do vacuum high traffic areas more than once, like kitchen and the home entrance. Washing the dishes after every meal and cleaning the sink at night before going to bed and finally cleaning the gas stop are part of my daily cleaning chores too. If I were to cheat, then I would skip folding the laundry one day, but then fold a mountain of clothes next day. But that's one thing I cheat a lot, quite a lot actually. Do you do that too? Do let me know in the comment section below. Now let's look at my weekly cleaning routine. Well, weekly routine mainly consists of activities that will help reset my home for coming week, which would include washing the linens. I either do this over the weekend or in between the week when there are not too many clothes to wash and I would utilize that day to wash some linen. Cleaning the home entrance is another task that I do on a weekly basis. Vacuuming, Watering the plants, mopping the entrance is all that I spare for once a week. Another task for weekly cleaning is cleaning the bathrooms. We have two bathrooms and I clean them once a week. I do use some lazy hacks like putting a toilet cleaner in the flush tank that will clean the inside of the toilet bowl with every flush and trust me it's very effective and I can only get away with cleaning the toilet seat which is as simple as spray, a disinfectant, wipe and leave. A wiper or squeezy is another hack to clean the bathroom floors. This way you do not have to vacuum. Only spray some water and clean with the squeezy and bathroom cleaning is done and dusted. Few random tasks include like refilling the soap containers in the bathroom, dishwashing liquid in the laundry and kitchen etc. Also forms part of weekly cleaning routine. I also make my own multi-purpose kitchen cleaning spray. For daily cleaning, I use homemade cleaning solution. It's natural and can be used to clean the countertops, appliances, refrigerator, cabinets, etc. For bathroom cleaning, I do prefer something strong, usually store pot cleaning solution. I do deep clean the cooktop once a week as on daily basis, I simply wipe and go. But on weekly basis, I uh, would thoroughly clean it, clean the splash bag, change the foil paper on the splash bag, clean the stove top edges, Scrape the cooktop if there is any burn food residue on it as all this happens once a week only. I also dust and wipe the furniture once a week. I pick up one room and dust and wipe the furniture, change the bed sheets, clean the floors, in short clean entire room top to bottom once a week. This way each room is cleaned on rotational basis. Here it's not as dusty as in India so dusting does not make part of my daily cleaning but weekly cleaning routine. One another thing that I love to do and I look forward to doing is cleaning and organizing one area of my house. It could be a wardrobe, linen cupboard, one kitchen cabinet or even just one drawer. I love to give any place a new makeover and that feeling is something that can only be enjoyed and cannot be described in words. Now let's look at some monthly cleaning tasks. These definitely includes deep cleaning the refrigerator inside out. I line the fridge shelves and top with liners which extends this cleaning period. The same thing can be done on over the hanging kitchen cabinets as well where dust and grime always accumulates. Lining them makes cleaning process quick and easy. 
Cleaning the range hood and the cabinets next to them makes on my monthly cleaning list too. I have now started using the range hood filter films that catches the grime and all I have to do is change the filter film. This hack has saved me so much of time and elbow grease as previously the grime used to start building up on the nearby cabinets too if not cleaned on time. But replacing the films is as simple as taking a tissue paper and sticking it to the filter and disposing of the previous one when it's dirty. Easy peasy. Also kitchen appliances are wiped clean once a month thoroughly. They are cleaned after every use but once a month thorough clean with soapy water keeps their surface free from sticky grime. Wiping the kitchen cabinets is another thing that I do on a monthly basis. I do not plan these monthly tasks but schedule an hour or 30 minutes every few days to do any of these monthly tasks. Say for instance, wiping the kitchen cabinet. I do mainly at night. I spray all the cabinets at once and let them sit for a few minutes and quickly go and wipe them down. Hardly takes 10 minutes but keeps the kitchen sparkling at all times. I also love to do DIY home decors at home. I am in the process of decorating my home entrance and last time I remember I think I spray painted all the kitchen cabinet handles black which a lot of you guys actually appreciated and liked and one of the subscribers actually did at her home and which made me feel so proud. So these are the few things that are form part of my uh, home cleaning and decor list like monthly decor list. I do plan something every month and I actually look forward to these activities. Last but not the least, I clean oven once a month. I do not use it much, so once a month is all I need. I have small kids who spill food a lot and I have observed that kitchen island also gets dirty from time to time. So I make a point to clean the kitchen island underneath like you know very thoroughly from all the four sides once a month too. Doors and windows needs regular cleaning as well but these are some cleaning tasks that I do once every few months and sometimes on yearly basis like on Diwali. As if I were to be real, little little things already fills up the day that you tend to ignore cleaning the walls, the doors, windows. So for them once a year or Diwali cleaning is all I can manage. So guys in today's video I tried to cover my cleaning routines in totality. But you know what, I have to admit that maintaining a clean home takes a lot of time and energy. And living away from India, we homemakers do not get any house help like we do in India. And all this time and energy is very costing. Costing on your health, your energy levels, your me time. I have observed decline in my energy levels over the period of time and now I am always looking for smart or should I say lazy ways to do same task so that I can save some energy and do not over exert myself. Would you be interested in knowing what lazy hacks do I use to do my household chores in less time and energy? If yes, please do let me know in the comment section below. I will wait for your comments and I will sign off now and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.